Ready? Yep. One. Hey guys, it's Liv. Today I am showing you how to make some vegan and healthy takeout recipes. I think it's pretty self-explanatory, so let's get into the video. Okay, starting off, just add a little bit of oil to a pan and then add some chopped onions to it. Just saute those until they are a little bit softened and brown like this. Then in a big bowl, you're going to add a cup and a half of black beans and mash them up, not until they are pureed. You wanna still have some whole ones, but mash them pretty well. Then add a cup of cooked brown rice quarter cup of barbecue sauce, a cup of walnuts that has been chopped up in a food processor, then add the onions and the spices. So it's about a half teaspoon to a teaspoon of smoked paprika, cumin, and then some salt and pepper to taste. And optional, you can add a tablespoon of coconut sugar. And then you want to add breadcrumbs. So you can use about a third of a cup to a half cup, depending how much you need. Then just form them into patty shapes. I like to do this by forming them into a ball and then just pressing it between my hands to flatten it a bit. Then you just want to heat up a little bit of oil in a frying pan and fry them until they are kind of crispy and browned on each side. It's about three to four minutes per side. And then you could either eat them like this or I actually put them on a baking sheet and put them in the oven for 10 minutes per side at about 350 Fahrenheit. And there you go. So this recipe was inspired by Minimalist Baker. I can't take credit for it, but I really wanted to try it out. So that is how you make it. Cut up about two cups of vegetables. The ones I'm using are bok choy, bell peppers, carrots, and green onions. And then you're going to just saute those in a pan with some oil or I just used water. Um, it works pretty much the same. And then you just wanna cook those for a few minutes until they're a bit softened. So now we're going to make the sauce by adding a quarter cup of soy sauce and two tablespoons of liquid sweetener along with a tablespoon of ketchup or tomato sauce about a teaspoon of sriracha if you like it spicy, a quarter teaspoon of ginger, about an eighth of a teaspoon of ground black pepper, and just stir that all up. So then add some cooked rice noodles to the frying pan, top it with the sauce, and just give that a good stir and cook it for a few more minutes until the sauce has absorbed a bit and you can't see any sauce in the bottom of the frying pan and then you are good to go. You can also top it with like some sesame seeds or anything like that, but I just left it plain, kind of how you would get it normally in a takeout restaurant. So yeah, I hope you guys love this one. We're starting off by making the batter with a half cup of flour, a quarter teaspoon of ground black pepper, and some salt. Then just stir that up and add a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. And then you're just going to slowly add some non-dairy milk, just in you know different portions, and stir it up. Um, you want to reach the consistency of kind of a medium thick batter like this, so just keep adding milk until you have reached this consistency. And then all you're going to do is dip some chunks of cauliflower into the batter, and then roll it in breadcrumbs. Now the breadcrumbs are optional. If you wanna keep it gluten-free, just use gluten-free flour and skip the breadcrumbs. And then just bake that in the oven at about 425 for 10 minutes. In the meantime, we'll make the sauce by adding a half cup of soy sauce and a half cup of orange juice. Then add a few tablespoons of coconut sugar or some other type of sugar, uh, some sriracha if you want it to be a little bit spicy, a teaspoon of sesame oil, and some sesame seeds. Then stir that all up. You don't have to mix it too well. It should be already mixed by now. And then once the cauliflower comes out, just flip it over before we bake it again. So we're gonna end up baking it for another 10 minutes. 
It's not going to get crispy or browned or anything because there isn't any oil on it. So then once it comes out of the oven again, we're going to top it with the sauce. And just make sure that you kind of give it a stir around in the sauce and get it all coated as best you can. And then bake that in the oven for another 10 minutes. Then when it's time to serve it, just take your serving bowls, whatever they may be, pour some rice into them, and then you can add your cauliflower. And I like to top mine with some pieces of green onion. It just gives it a really nice flavor. <laughs> okay, it is time for the taste test. And so many people say they always like the taste test part. We are going to test all of these. They are all perfectly cold now, but that's okay. Ready? It's much better when it's warm, but these are so good. Mm -hmm. I like Do you like it? it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, we should tell you guys that we are moving. I tried to tell them in the last mm -hmm. video and I cut it out, but that's okay. So we mm -hmm. are moving end of March. So in April, oh, I thought you were part of your room. <laughs> Starting in April, all of our videos will be in my brand new, beautiful, amazing kitchen that is so much better than this one. It's not even funny. Mm -hmm. It's got like a nice island. Mm. You should try the other stuff. Mmm. I like this. This sauce is like epic. Mmm. This is really good. It's really good when it's fresh. It's really soggy right now. It was a little bit more, uh, I like it. Less soggy when we first made it, but when you guys eat it, it's gonna be amazing. It's supposed to be like sesame chicken. I'm not gonna call it chicken this time because. Why? Last time I called it cauliflower wings. Mm -hmm. A select few individuals commented and were like, essentially, she's so dumb, does she actually think that those are wings? Mm -hmm. Obviously, I don't actually think they're wings. I said they're cauliflower. But anyways, people got mad, so we just call it cauliflower. Burger time? Mm -hmm. So far, what's your favorite? That. Mm -hmm. I put mustard on for show and I don't like mustard, mm -hmm. but that's okay. One. Two, three. I think it's missing pickles. But how do you like the burger? Mm -hmm, it's, it's good, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like I could have done something a little different with them. Covered the patties in barbecue sauce. Ooh, yeah, you should cover the patties in barbecue sauce when you flip them over and bake them for the second time. That would be so good. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the camera now so we can go heat this up and eat it. <laughs> I like it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you make any of these recipes, make sure to take a picture and tag me on Instagram at Liv's Healthy Life. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you guys next time.